my thing went off, and so I... We never missed anything so far. I'm just about to fight Catalog, I guess. I don't know. I'm in his warehouse. So, you see if we can find him. Oh. <laughs> never expected you to come back on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured the comms so would show you up like jerky. Julius. A shock baton, nothing good. Dog me, no! Gosh dang it, dog meat! I hate when he does that. Yeah, he gets in your way, but. Hit dog meat. He'll do anything to protect you. Pulse grenades, keep them those. I ain't gonna use those yet. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna be your way. Gotta be a high, high. Oh god, a high level hacker. I didn't know that the um, live stream ended. I'm so sorry. I didn't know those problems. I don't know why. I can head into Vault A1. Yeah. Nice. I can do that after I kill. Get like get the cow log. Cause I know he's gonna. I know we have to fight him. That's it. The table take back. That's what I need for adhesive. Oh geez. I know that Nuka Cola gives you radiation poisoning, but it's still good. It also gives you caps. And everyone knows caps are life. Oh, I didn't see you. Yes. Nice. I don't want to take the bread box, I'll take these little cans. Hi, 
those. Detected. Explosive box. Ooh. Let's see what's in here. Got it. Hi, Moto. Okay, that's good. Hello. What? I was in error. No enemy is someone. Bang. Got him. Hey, welcome to the live stream. I'm sorry about that because I had difficult difficulties and so it, the live stream ended early. I did not mean for that to happen. Shark baton. I'll okay, for that. I have to go. There's lots of those things here. Dog meat. Move. You got guts and determination. That's admirable. <laughs> Talk me, get out of there. God, have a shot. Try to get all the fuel cells I can. That's a good sign. Spam packs. Think. <gasps> no. No way. I. It's. I, I, uh, 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 uh. Oh my God! Eh? Uh, ah! Uh, I have it. It's right here. It's in my hands. Ah! Uh. I'm the most... Wow. That's just pure luck. There we go. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep for four hours. There we go. Bathroom. First stage box is locked. Dang it! There, finally. Sweet. Oh, this is automatic. What does it say on that card? Oh, it does. I didn't. I didn't read it. Whoa! What the? Oh, 
Saw your pinbox. Heck yeah. Saving here. Extremely nervous. Ammo box. Oh, there's some fuel cells in here. Need some more. Come on, lady luck. Be on my side. That's it. I, yeah, it's like five, okay. but I'll still take it. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. Quick saving. Whew. Quick saving again. <laughs> Just be safe. There he is. Most resilient man in the Alright, there's two guys here. Three guys. I thought I had that over. You came a long way. Let's hear it. Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away. That's Sean. But don't worry. The Institute? Well, I'll find him. No matter where he is, nothing will stop me. God, you're persistent. I give you credit. It's the way a father should act. The way I'd be acting if I was in your place, I like to think. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? You know I am, Kellogg. Please. <laughs> ah, satisfaction. Got you, buddy. Where's the log? Oh, he's a stealth boy. I got him. I did it.
boy strong says he delivered back at the institute and he received view orders to track down get the frick out of here Stick to the story mode. Roof access. The Brotherhood of Steel. Wow. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stick to the story mode. Gotta hit down the city. This thing might pass over Diamond City, I believe. Asking for your opinion. Be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. 
<laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Well, that's what I put that out. Nick, gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with that? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head there on my own. All right, see you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. A few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I wanna hear how this whole story got started. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. What? No, 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 no. No, 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 dog me, come back. No, dog me. No, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. Dark meat. Out of the way. Dark meat. I get dog meat. He's my only companion I can ever have. Oh, jeez, come on. 
gonna sleep for five hours. At least it's not raining. Hey. Hey, Piper. You holding up, Blue? Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. A jumpsuit's a dead giveaway. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm already following you around. <laughs> Might as well get some quotes while we're at it. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, what? <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks. Killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, we should probably get going. Thanks again. I'm gonna get Nick Valentine to come with me. He really good at hacking stuff, so I guess that could be really helpful. Perkins. Hmm. Nick's not the type to turn someone away, but he's only one person. So sometimes things just pile up. Always a trail to be followed. Oh, what up? I forgot. Get my strength up so I can carry more stuff. I think he's heading towards. Oh yeah, he's heading towards the memory bank. So I better meet him there. Mm, gotta 
excuse me. Something could pop in and attack me. I'll take the chances. Uh, yep, super I knew it. the frick do I get in? I'm going around in circles. This could be promising. Federal rules. I'm a good neighbor. You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, whoa, time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Jeez. Oh, my God. Don't go and say that, huh? 
Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Uh -huh. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. <laughs> I'll take a look. Sure. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Let's see. Rocket launcher. Be rank four for me to upgrade that. Ahem. Oh, new face walks into my store, and you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? Let's see what you have. It's a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of everything. A little bit of weapons? I can use a board. Board attack. All right, not fooling around. There's real <clears throat> Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Memory then. Nick could be really Nick Valentine could be really helpful hacking computers. And I want him on my team, even even if it's the highest thing or locked doors. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the loaning. May have walked out of the den, Irma. walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Nick, let's go talk to Amari. On it. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. A vault tech. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. 
the biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Skip to the good part, Doc. We plugged the brain implant into Mr. Valentine, assuming he's willing to take on the risks. Hell, why not? Plenty of room in my head anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But... What if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Any idea what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. All right, guys, that will be... Uh, hold on, let me check something. Make sure how long this video actually is. Uh... Yeah, I guess that'll be the end of the episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join the Fallout Army. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!